Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for being with me here today. We are back here at my client's house, John, okay? If you have been following my channel, you probably saw a video a few months back where I showcased his system, okay? And if you have any interest in watching that video, please look at the link below where you can familiarize your, yourself a little more with what he and I have put together, okay? But today I'm back. A few months later, mm -hmm. he decided to give me a call and go up the ladder with his system. So what this video is about is clearly showing you what he upgraded to and his listening impressions with this system. So John, thank you for being back on my channel. Good to see you again, Jay. Again, um, pretty exciting to see the transformation that your system is going through. Okay, in the beginning stages, we did a MacBook Pro just to get you started really low. Mm -hmm. And we use that as a streamer slash music server, right? We use, utilize Rune, we utilize uh, a Griffin Calliope DAC, and you express your interest to move up the ladder. Tell us a little more about that and how that came about. So uh, I started out initially with um, putting the investment in the speakers and then in the electronics. So we held off on the digital side mostly. But we moved pretty, pretty rapidly up the ladder in terms of amplification, yeah. the preamp, and my, my personal philosophy was rather than spending a lot of time buying and selling and losing money on all the individual components that if I could to do things up front and, and kind of do it the first time. So that's pretty much what we did. So why don't we just get started and talk about you know what we added this second time around uh, and then uh, I want you to come back and tell the audience what you heard in terms of improvements by you know the changes that we've made. So we went from the Ref6 preamp to the uh, with the with the Boulder 2160 and we went to the Commander preamp with the Apex right here. Uh, stereo stereo amp and that was the first change before anything else, and that was that was massive. Actually, the commander, even with the boulder before the apex came, was a huge, huge change. And then most recently, we went from the Calliope DAC to the MSB Select Two DAC, right with, there with the, the digital director. Um, and then we went from the MacBook Air as the streamer to the Tyco Extreme with the uh, router and the network switch. So, so right here we have the Tyco Extreme Music Server, which I am a dealer for. I am not going to lie about that. Uh, we order the Tyco Extreme Music Server with eight terabytes of memory and the optional uh, router and network switch, which are here, okay, that, which enhances a lot of the digital experience. Um, the cables, as you see on the back, are all of my cable line authentic audio image, Yes, I am a believer in my cable line. I stand behind them a thousand percent. And of course, no secret by now, I am a strong tank dealer. So what did he get? 5,000 HP strong tank unit. So my client here is not trying to cut corners, beat around the bush, save money or anything like that. He, he contacted me because he wanted a system that was already put together by me, assembled by me, that I can vouch for, that I feel strong about. And yeah, and I would say my, <laughs> my main comment on that was, I didn't actually hear any of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I trusted Jay's experience and his opinion, and I'd have to say that every single recommendation Jay made was, I mean, the system to me sounds as close to perfect as, as I could imagine it. So Jay knows his stuff. He knows exactly what goes with what, what works best, what sounds best. And um, I mean, it, it just worked. And I didn't, I didn't go driving around, listening to all different dealers and stores. Um, I, I, I just, uh, just went with Jay's recommendations and everything came together perfectly so appreciate that you know we we listened uh today every addition that i made and some of it wasn't steps made made a huge difference but now hearing everything together 
uh, it was just transformational. I mean, from where it was yesterday before we added everything to where it is today, you can hear the synergy in all of these pieces. Yep. And you know, that that's all Jay. And it and it's just amazing. The clarity and separation of instruments is incredible. The bass, um, I, every time I hear the bass, I can't, <laughs> I can't actually believe they're coming out of these speakers without, Lyra, yeah. with, without subs. It, it, it's just amazing. And I think the Apex has a lot to do with that yes, as well. I agree. Um, the, the vocals, particularly female vocals, are just ethereal is the word that I use. They're, they're perfectly centered mm -hmm. and I could listen to it forever. It's not fatiguing at all. I mean, we listened to this for six, seven hours last night. Easily. Easily with Easily. no... No fatigue of any kind, no regardless. No compression. Um, and uh, one of the things that is interesting to me is the fact that he had been thinking about just building an external room, an extension of his house to build a nice two-channel room. And, uh, you know, myself... And another Ultra Hi-Fi member who's right now holding the camera agreed that this room does tremendously well. And if you remember the last video that I did with him, he had no curtains. So this is something that he hasn't spoken about. He actually went out and bought acoustic curtains to help with the installed reflections. My, installed myself. And, lo and look at this. And he installed it all himself. And look at the backdrop that we all love. It's still here. The gorgeous backdrop that this room has is absolutely stunning. It looks like it's a painting behind you can open that one. This, the, 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 the system. It's just crazy, all right? Just beautiful, guys. Absolutely stunning what he has done here. So, and that's the only treatment. There's no room treatment. There's no room treatment, which leads me to the next point I wanted to make, okay? I had the Lyras in my room. I had the Apex in my room. I had the Commander in my room. Okay, and uh, although it was exquisite sound, uh, you know, and, and the Lyra always impressed me with the transparency, the neutrality, uh, the disappearing act that this speaker has. Okay, however, I believe this room sounds so much better with these speakers than it did in my room. And it has to do with, I think, part of it is the fact that this room is not overly damped. My room has a lot of heavy acoustics, a lot of treatment, right? This room has, in my opinion, the perfect balance of reverb and this liveliness that I think helps the speaker really just sound bigger than what it is. The speaker fills the room everywhere to the top of the ceiling. It is about nine, nine and a half feet tall ceilings. It's about 18 wide by about 21 deep. It's a nice size room, but the, the room just seems to really welcome the strengths of the Lyra, namely the bass. It's incredible, it's very tight. It feels like, as if it's coming from a seal enclosure, uh, which it is not a seal enclosure if you, have, if you know anything about the Lyra, but it feels so tight, so articulate, so layer. Of course, let's make sure that we mention this guy here. Okay, this guy is, uh, <laughs> let me just say, it's not a joke, okay? This is a serious piece of equipment, Apex stereo amplifier. My cable line, I went ahead and put the key, got the cables off the floor. So every cable that he has here is off the floor. Mine is, of course, a few cables behind the rack because it is, it's very difficult to go behind the rack to lift cables off the floor. But we did the best we could here. And it's just a very beautiful, nuanced, clear, crystal clear sound that just blows you away. And, and I'm happy to be able to help people like John, clients like him that can come in, knock on my door and tell me what they want and I just go after what they want. Okay, and if they're not happy, yes, I went back and took back a lot of the stuff that he had here and I was able to put even better components in here that he likes better because ultimately what's important to me is that my client is happy, that he feels like he's getting what he paid for. Okay, so John, closing thoughts, give my audience your final thoughts on what we have done. And by the way, I don't even want to jinx it, but I think he's going to continue to move up the ladder, but I don't want to speak for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all I could say is that I couldn't be happier with the way this sounds. I've never heard anything like this. It's incredible. I would say for people either experienced or not experienced, 
if you're looking at uh, at components and you don't know where to go because it, it can be overwhelming. I'm telling you to trust this guy because <laughs> his, he's got incredible ears, but he tests so much of this high end gear that he knows what works with what. And that's what I did. And it, and it couldn't be better. And plus he come, he comes to your home yep. and he will set all this stuff up. So he gets everything up and running. It's kind of a turnkey operation. And I couldn't say enough about about how Jay takes care of clients. It's it's awesome. Thank you for that. If you are looking for ultra high end gear, please check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. My for sale section has a tremendous amount of high end gear, including some affordable stuff for those of you that can't stomach the price points of these ultra high end components that we are seeing here. Okay, um, let me know. And lastly, do not forget to sus subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate your time. Let's get to listen to the system. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. Take care.